what's up? It's Wolfie Wolf here with Gravitas Create. I want to show you a quick tutorial on how to make a white noise riser using only Ableton native plugins. So let's get started. So I've created a new MIDI track here to start. Next you're going to need a source for the white noise. Most any synth should have a white noise wavetable, but we're going to use the operator for this one. Once you have operator pulled up, let's change the wavetable to noise white. Next, let's add an auto filter. Let's leave the slope on 24, set the filter to bandpass mode, and boost the resonance to about 25. Let's group the operator and auto filter by clicking the top, holding shift, clicking the auto filter, and then hit group. Now let's open the macro settings. Let's go ahead and map the frequency to macro one. Now when I move macro one, you can see it also moves the frequency on the auto filter as well. Next, let's draw on a MIDI clip for the white noise. I'm gonna hit Control Shift M to create a MIDI clip. Let's go in here and draw the note. Next, let's automate macro one. Let's hear what this sounds like so far. Get on a brief encounter with the world of the unknown. Pretty cool, pretty cool. That's a pretty standard white noise riser, so let's go ahead and make things a little more interesting with some effects. How about we add an auto pan to this? Like the auto filter, I'm going to want to drag that into the group. Next, I'll map the amount to macro one and the rate to macro one. Now let's hear how that sounds. You found a brief encounter with the world of the unknown. interesting. Now the amount and rate get a little extreme towards the end so I'm going to click the map tab right here and take the frequency and amount down a good bit. Let's see how that sounds soloed. Cool. How about we add a reverb on this to create a natural tail at the end? As before, we're going to go ahead and drag this into the group and map the dry wet to macro one. Now let's hear how this sounds all together. Let's take things a little further by adding a flanger to the effects chain. I'm going to put this in right before the reverb. Once again, we're going to map the amount and rate to macro one. And like before, we're going to take those down a bit.
while we're at it, let's take the reverb down a little bit as well. That should be good. Now let's hear what we got. Some of the highs get a little sharp towards the end there. So I'm gonna roll those off with an EQ8. I usually like to cut the low end out of my white noise risers as well. So I'm gonna set this one to high pass and move it up to about 100 Hertz. We could take this down a bit more. Now let's hear how it sounds with the track. You had a brief encounter with the world of the unknown. drag this EQ8 into the group as well and then go ahead and clap some of these that we're not using anymore now that we have the rack all cleaned up let's go ahead and name it okay so I already have a folder made for all my Ableton clips and instrument racks if I just drag this instrument rack into the folder it'll save it for future use it'll ask us to name it which we've already done so we can just hit enter now anytime i drag this down here it will add a new midi track with the instrument rack built in now let's say i wanted to include this midi clip right here what we do this time is drag the track into the folder and that's going to make an ALS file. So you open up the file. If I was to drag this down here, now it includes the MIDI clip as well. So that's it guys, a quick tutorial on how to make a white noise riser. I hope you learned something and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Peace.